Sure. So uh, we were uh, delighted to be here um, at Endicom uh, talking uh, about w the, the future of edge computing. Um, and we really talked a lot about how organizations, as they're starting to innovate um, and as they're starting to look at manipulating their data, working with their data, and, and really transforming digitally around their data, what is starting to emerge are a series of use cases and challenges whereby the workload needs to run closer to the interaction. So there's lots that we're doing inside of the CenturyLink network, inside of our security portfolio, and inside of our cloud management portfolio to help customers enable that because we have a very large uh, asset, which is the global fiber network uh, that has a lot of geographic, uh, geographic spread, uh, a lot of geographic locations, and a lot of alternatives that customers can use to move those digital workloads closer to the interactions between people, things, and business models. Right now, the kinds of companies that have the resources that can actually think about these use cases are some of the largest companies. And so that's actually one of the other cultural challenges you see at business worldwide um, are very large companies trying to figure out how to think entrepreneurially and how to think creatively and how to not think within the context of their current business models, but how to change the business model and how to expand. And so there's a lot of entrepreneurialism. Um, inside uh, a lot of those larger companies that needs to come to the fore in order to be able to take advantage of, of some of this next generation of, of business opportunities. Sure, so we really feel like edge computing is complementary to, highly complementary to the public cloud. And so a lot of um, the, the barriers and requirements for uh, driving that level of entrepreneurialism is really a transformation of a company to become a more of an agile mindset, not purely from a software development perspective, but from a business perspective. And that goes all the way to the top of an organization. Right? An organization is going to be committed to being an agile business, um, working sequentially, working in a continuously refined, continuously improving, uh, rapidly deploying type of organization rooted in software, or it's not. Um, it's hard for a, a business to be, uh, for, for a business to really digitally transform without that being supported at the highest levels of leadership. starting to see as a lot of organizations start to think about this notion of edge computing as just moving the workload closer to the interaction. Um, and a great example of that uh, is one of uh, our customers who works in, in the retail arena, whereby uh, they have been really starting to think about how to make uh, IoT sensors embedded in a lot of what they do in their operation. Um, it's a, a retail quick service restaurant, uh, uh, and organizations, uh, the organization that we're working with um, is, is really starting to figure out how to, to maximize the footprint of a restaurant. You can't put a second refrigerator into the restaurant. You can't put uh, a bigger kitchen into most restaurants. You're limited by how much space you have in order to be able to be profitable on a month-over-month -month basis. And so they've realized that they need to make everything data-driven, and they need to be innovating around and experimenting with uh, different sources models and different scheduling models and different business models that take advantage of all the different operational patterns of their business. Uh, from, from a perspective uh, of CenturyLink, I would say that you know, business organizations need to, need to continue their digital transformations, it, even if it still means starting with figuring out your data strategy and your cloud migration strategy, how you're going to be connecting to the public cloud, how you're going to be migrating workloads to the public cloud, uh, and how you're going to be uh, modernizing and, and managing uh, those workloads in the cloud. That's the great first set of steps. Um, you know, edge computing is getting a lot of interest and notoriety, uh, but edge computing is for workloads that need to run closer to interactions. Um, edge computing is not going to replace the public cloud. Edge computing complements the public cloud. And so, the, the, the don't uh, I would I would recommend business users really start to think about that as a progression of getting agile, moving to the public cloud, and then thinking about what workloads are going to be necessary uh, to be able to run a whole lot closer to interactions.